Hey everyone, welcome to the club. In today's video, you and I are going to create a fun cartoon illustration of Lionel Messi. Now for today's lesson, all you're going to need is a piece of paper and something to draw with. I'll be drawing with this black Sharpie fine point marker, and you can use whatever you'd like to color this in. Let's position our character's head in a slight tilt coming down toward the left side of our page. So let's start with the left eye. Starting down here, we're going to draw a circle. Going all the way around. And we'll just pull that back up towards the top. And line this up over on the right. You're just going to tilt the eye going up towards the top. So we're just going to draw that same size circle, going all the way around, and then back up towards the top. Let's draw a smaller circle in the center of the eye for the pupil. And then along the top of the pupils, draw a small circle or highlight. and we'll fill the bottom of the pupils in black, going around that highlight. Now the nose and the mouth are gonna be centered in between the eyes coming down at an angle. So let's start with the bottom edge of the nose, starting on the left, go this across, and then go up, and step up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. I'm going to shift the mouth going up towards the right. So starting from the bottom left, go across and then up. And then on the left side, we're going to step in to create an overlap, come down towards the bottom of the mouth, and then up towards the top right corner. Let's add the top row of teeth with a curve coming down and then up. And then from the bottom, curve the tongue going up underneath the teeth and then we'll fill the left side in black. Just underneath the mouth, let's add a curve for the lower lip. Now you use the position of the eyebrows to give him some expression. So let's start on the left side. Start by curving this up above the eye, and then down. And then on the inside, draw a straight line going up. I just want to taper this so it gets narrower as it comes out towards a point. Now I'm going to raise the right eyebrow, start from the top. And go up and then down towards the side, flatten off the inside, go across and then taper that down, and it'll fill the inside of the eyebrows in black. Now from here, you can draw the top edge of the mustache going out towards the beard. Let's start from the side of the nose, curve around the mouth, and then down. And then from here, it's going to bend this out and up towards the side of the eye. From the side of the head, we're going to curve the beard coming down and then in. So we're going to come around and then into right about there. And then we're going to add a bumpy texture for the beard coming down towards the chin. So let's start back on the left. Come down, and then in. Let's add one more curve in the center. Coming down a little bit lower in the middle, and then back up on the right. Now from the corners of the mouth, we're going to curve the beard coming down. And just pull that up underneath the lip. So let's start on the left side. Come down, round this out, and just pull that up on the left side of the lip. For the top right corner of the mouth, come down around and then up. Let's go back to the side of the head. We're just going to curve the head going up and in around the eyebrows. Let's go to the right side, bend this up and in towards the top of the hairline. And we're going to bend this in and then down towards the center of the forehead. Let's add a curl coming down towards the left brow. Going out and then down. Gonna taper this up and in. Let's close off the side with a curve going up and in behind the hair. Now I want to brush the hair over towards the left side. So I'm gonna start along the top, bend this out and then down, bend this up and in. Let's add another point. Halfway along this curve, go out and down, and go all the way up towards the top of the head, and then bend that in. Let's add a fold along the top, going up and then down. 
I'm gonna add one more point. Going up, go all the way around. I'm just gonna tuck that in towards the top right corner of the head. Now let's go back and draw in the ears. From the top of the beard, for the ear going up, and down, just bend that in towards the side of the head. Let's add that fold along the top, then it's up and out. And then on the inside, we're gonna add a hook going out and in. Now I wanna close off the side of the head. Let's start underneath the hair on the left side, then this around and then in on top of the ear. Let's go to the top right, come out, come down, and just pull that in on top of the right ear. Now to move down, we wanna curve the body going out towards the left hip. Let's start underneath the head on the left, then the hips coming down and then out. Go underneath the head on the right, come down, and then bend that out a little bit lower. Let's connect the hips with a curve, coming down, and then up. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the left arm. From the top of the body, we'll step down, bend the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist. From the wrist, draw a small half circle, coming down and up for the thumb, close off the end with a bracket. Now you want to layer three fingers just underneath the thumb. Let's start down here, around the bracket, and then bend that in. Then from the side, add the second finger, going out and in. Add one more finger going up, and just tuck that in towards the side of the head. Let's knot the inside of the arm over on the right, then the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist. From the wrist, draw that half circle from the thumb, close off the end with a bracket. Now you want to add three fingers along the right side. Starting underneath the thumb, go around that bracket, bend that up, go to the side, add the second finger, and then the third finger, we're going to curve this out, bend the arm, coming up and in behind the side of the head. Let's separate the hand from the arm with a curve for the sleeve. Starting from the thumb, bend this out, and then up. And then on the right thumb, we're going to curve this up and then down. Let's add the shirt sleeve, halfway along the bottom of the arm, bend this out, and then up, and then on the right, go up and out. Let's add three more curves across the bottom of the right sleeve. Adding one, two, and then three. Now I want to separate the top of the sleeve in half, starting from the head, bend this out, and then down, and I'll separate the top of the left sleeve. Let's trace the side of the body along the inside, come down and out. Let's go underneath the chin, add a half circle for the collar. And then on the inside, we're gonna draw two more curves. One on the left, coming down towards the hip, and then one more on the right. Now we move down and draw the right leg extended forward. So just underneath the hips, in the middle, we step down, add a curve, going up and then down. Let's go to the center of the curve, draw the inside of the right leg, then it goes down and across toward the left. Now we draw the bottom edge of the foot with the curve coming down, and I'll bend that up towards the toe. Let's round up the foot, come in and then back down towards the heel. Let's go back to the outside of the foot, draw the top going up, and bend this down, aim it towards the heel, and we'll curve the shoe going back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's go up to the right hip, draw the outside of the shorts, bend this out and then down, sort of aiming towards the tip of the foot. Now from here it's going to bend this in and then down towards the inside of the leg. From the bottom corner of the shorts, we're going to step in, bend this down and in towards the top of the foot. And then we're going to wrap the shorts along the back side of the leg. So we're bending this down and in. Just underneath the bottom edge of the shorts, we're going to step down, add a curve for the sock, going up and out. Step down and draw one more. Let's add a thick sole on the bottom of the foot. So we're going to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across. And then from the top of the foot, we're going to add a toe cap, coming in. Now I want to bend the left leg in behind the right leg. Let's start from the hip, 
that is out, come down towards the knee, round up the knee, it's going to come in towards the side of the leg. Now from the top, draw a straight angle line coming down towards the knee, and it'll separate out the shorts, stepping up, because it's up, and then out. Let's go back to the inside, curl the sock, coming down towards the bottom. Now you see the top of the left foot. Let's start underneath the knee, curl this down, and then up. From the bottom of the foot, we're going to add the edge of the sole going up in behind the leg. Let's add the toe cap, coming down and then across the top of the foot. Now on the left side, we're going to add the number 10. Let's start with the 1, and then right beside it, we're going to add an oval with the 0, trace that along the inside. Now we're going to draw a circle on the bottom left side of our page for the ball. We're going to start from the very top of the middle, go all the way around towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Let's go to the center of the ball and draw a five-sided pentagon. Starting from the top of the middle, it goes down and out towards the side, it goes down and in towards the bottom, pulls this off with a straight line, and then we'll fill the inside of that shape in black. each of these five points, we're going to draw a straight line going out, sort of aiming towards the center of that pentagon, just leaving a small gap along the outside. And then from the end, we're just going to angle this up and out, just spreading out that line towards the side of the ball. And we'll fill each of those shapes in black. And once we're done, let's sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of Lionel Messi. I really enjoyed our drawing session together. And if you did too, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you like this drawing, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.